Welcome back to Houston. We are in round three, the conference finals against the Smashville Predators. I will quickly view our lines again just to show you what's going on in Houston. We're pretty good. We are pretty good on defense. We've got Hanif and Sergachev, and then that pair there as well. Pretty solid and not there. In net, we have Hellebuck and Di Pietro. So we're pretty stacked all around. But today, we are facing... A Nashville Predators team that has Philip Forsberg putting up 17 points in 10 games. What is that all about? Let's go to Nashville. I'm not even sure if this way was faster or if the other way won. Other, what? If, that's not English. Anyway, he's on the second line and he has 17 points? What the heck? Okay. Well, anyway, Eli Tolvin in point a game. Yeah, so they got Eli Tolvin in with Johansson and then McLaren. This guy has an X Factor and three abilities. He's a right-wing sniper. Okay, so they got two snipers on the first line there we got to watch out for. And they got uh, Luke Kunin with Tomasino and Forsberg. They got Nick Paul, Jaeger, and... Hello? Who is this guy? What the heck? Medium elite potential. He has an X-Factor. Five abilities? <laughs> I've never heard of him. Okay. Well, interesting. And then Blackwell. That is scary. And then the fourth line, they have Dano at 84. This Okay, they have a good team. They have a pretty solid team here, I must say. On defense, they got Yossi and Fabro. They're pretty weak in the defense category, but they do have this guy here, who is 83 overall. He's got an X Factor and two abilities. Got to watch out for that. And in net, they have you see what I see and Ingram. Okay, so once again... I would still give our team the advantage, but you never really know. I don't know why I'm so insistent on going to the calendar. It's because whenever I go to simulate, it's just the first thing you go to, you know? So here we go. Round three or the conference finals, whatever you prefer. Boom. That's a good start. That is a good start. Roslovic and Reinhardt. Second. Nice. I'll take that. Palmieri with another one. Guy has been captain clutch for us. So we have a two goal lead in the third period. Both teams got a power play there, but neither able to capitalize. Halfway through, another power play for the Predators. Not able to capitalize again. Lead is still two for Houston. Shots are pretty equal, and that will do it. A 3-1 to victory for Houston to start off the series. Up 1-0 now. Connor Hellebuck played great again. We got Rozovic and Palmieri both getting goals there. And that is a good way to start. Here we go. Game number two against Smashville. How's this one going to go? First period. Boom. Okay. All right. We are down after the first period. I think it's been a while since <laughs> that has been the situation. Second period. Oh, no. We're down by three after two. Let's see how... Well, okay. That's not a good start to the third at all. We are now... Oh, my word. What is going on? Five goals. Did we pull Hellebuck yet? No, he's still in. Might want to put Mikey in there. Five goals on 21 shots. Give them a power play. Not able to capitalize. Oh yeah, that was a gross one. That was a bad game. But you know what? It's bound to happen eventually. We won the first one still. So now it is a best of five against Smashville. You see getting a shutout. We got Nick Paul with three points. Colin Blackwell with two. That is your three stars. For game number two, let's head on to game number three, shall we? Hopefully we have a better start in this one. First period. Oh yeah, we do. We do. Barzal and McLeod going to put up a goal each. And that will put us ahead by two. Second period. All right, I'll take that. Olofsson with a huge goal. And we have a 3-1 lead heading into the third period. 37 shots too. And we are looking pretty solid out of the gate here. But I jinxed it. McLaren's going to score. And we just passed the halfway mark. Yossi going to put another one past Hellebuck. And now Jaeger's going to put one in to make it... F oh my goodness, what is going on? We even put Di Pietro in. All right, boss, thank you. But I think it's too little too late. Wow, we are down 2-1. I did not see that coming. What a ridiculous third period. What happened to Connor Hellebuck, boss? Putting up one apiece, which is nice. And then those are your two other stars there. Okay. Not exactly how I thought that was going to go. 
at all. But you know what? I still strongly believe in the boys here. We're down by one, and I think we're going to win this one. I just have a gut feeling. First period. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Palmieri with two. Second period. Oh, yeah. Boss. Elliot Moose. He's on the loose, baby. Let's see if we can hold the lead this time or add to it. I'm down with that, too. Sergachev going to put another one in on UC. We have a five goal lead. Now I was about to say four, but as I was going to say that, Barzell put another one in. We are having quite the offensive performance this time around. Dante going to get another one for the Predators there, but that's just sort of a morale-boosting goal. Not going to get them anywhere close to the W in that one. A convincing four-goal victory for the Hammerheads. And that will cut the series down to a best of three. Palmieri, certified legend. And Sergachev putting up three points as well. Fabro gets two goals for Nashville. He got both of them. Okay. We are in a best of three. The first team to win two games moves on to the Stanley Cup final. Let's hope it's us. Simulate. Here we go. First period. Nice start. Boss. Yes, this guy is so good. Second period. I'll take that. That is perfectly fine. 2 nothing. Heading into the third, and JT Miller will add to it early on, making it 3-zip. That is a very, very solid start, but McLaren going to get the Predators on the board. Tolvin and gets one immediately after to cut the lead down to one. And Roslovic, yes, I saw another goal happened, and I panicked. I thought they were going to tie it up, but no. We get the insurance marker from Roslovic, and that will do it. We are one game away from the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's see the three stars. Connor Hellebuck, a 941. Boss with two goals. Those were huge in the first period. Tolvanen putting up one apiece. He is your third star. Okay. We just need to win one more. We need to win one of the next two. And we are in the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's simulate this game here. Come on, Houston. First period. That's okay. I'll take that. That's all right. Second period. I won't take that. That sucks. We need a big third period from the lads here. That's a power play. We need to capitalize, and we fail to do so. 13 minutes left, and we cut it down to one. Barzell gets a goal on UC, and that is a huge goal. Come on, boys. Don't give them a power play. Don't be doing that. Three minutes to go. Come on, someone get on the board. Oh, they held us off. It comes down to a game seven. Forsberg with three assists, Tolvin in with two goals, and McLeod one apiece. I am scared. I am not going to lie. Oh, man, I need some water for this one. The Caps in Tampa Bay also in a game seven. This is it. It's do or die against Nashville. First period. That is amazing. Let's go. Three goals. JT Miller, Vicky, and Barzell. What, are, what is the angle on those goals? I'll take it, though. I'm not going to complain. Second period. Okay. They cut it down, but you know these guys. They have some stellar third periods. They are my Bia Pro teams out here having the best third periods of all time. Gave them two power plays. You can't be doing that. Let's go, Bucky. Another power play. We're handing them the game. But Rozovic going to put one in on Ingram, and that will give us a three-goal lead. And I am confident enough to say that your Houston Hammerheads are in the Stanley Cup Final. Get out of here, Troy. Nice try. I don't think so. That is it. Now it all comes down to, are we playing Ovi in the Caps? Or are we playing, like, you can't even say anyone for Tampa Bay. Their whole team's an all-star. So, yeah, there you have it. We've got JT Miller, Connor Hellebuck, and Matthew Barzell, the three stars. Let's continue and find out who we will be facing for the ultimate prize. Let's stop the simulation and we get the Washington Capitals. They finish with 54 wins and a last 10 of 6, 2, and 2. We have 21 points in 17 games so far. Looks like the AHL team is done, unfortunately. But they had a good run. Very good season for them, nonetheless. But the important thing is the NHL. And we are, yeah, going to be fighting for that Stanley Cup. I can't believe it. I don't want to view team stats. Don't really care. I more so would like to view the player stats. Thank you. Okay. So we got JT Miller with 21 in 17. He's at 88 overall. He actually went up. That's amazing. Elliot Moose is on the loose at 87. 
He's point a game. Barzal point a game, still at 92. Reinhardt, just under point a game. Palmieri is absolutely... He's going in the Hall of Fame for Houston, pretty much. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, Sergachev, and then Olofsson doing well as well. Oh, Robert Thomas finally got the bump to 85. Yes, 10 points. That is huge. Kavanaugh with 7 points. And McLeod is at 84 overall. He did end up growing, which is great to see. Man, I can't believe it. We are in the Stanley Cup Final. Fire me up. Hag has not got a single point, but he's a plus one. So that's all right. Goalies, Hellebuck probably got knocked down a little bit. <laughs> a 500 and a 1241. Di Pietro is killing it. But yeah, anyway, a 12-5-0 record with one shutout for Hellebuck. 9-12-255. Man, this is it. This is what all the moves have been for. Next video, we will find out whether or not Houston is going to lose in the Stanley Cup Finals or in the fourth year of the franchise's existence, going to win the ultimate prize. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.